Hi, my name is Sammy, and I'm an engineer at AEA Ribbon Mics, and I'm here at our studio with the new JHS Colorbox 500 series. Today I'm going to demonstrate how a minimal mic setup paired with a good preamp and a nice sounding room can yield fantastic results. For drums, he's playing in a 68 Rogers kit, and we wanted to capture the sound of that kit in our space. For microphones, we had a minimal setup that reflected uh, more similar to how they would have tracked it back in the day. Only four microphones on the entire kit, two N8s for the overheads, which are very open and transparent and capture the natural sound, an R92 on kick drum, which is a bit more pillowy, uh, than some of the more modern sounding kick drum microphones and an R84 in front of the kit at the drummer's eye level to fill in the, the center image which makes up a lot of the sound of the mix. For the overheads, the N8s, we were running into two different color boxes uh, using them in stereo. So I'm going to show you the minimum position of how we started when we were uh, first listening to the playback. So. This is the more natural, transparent sound of the overheads, but we felt we wanted to drive it a bit harder and get some more color. So we pushed it up one notch, and then we listened and felt we needed to, we wanted a bit more. So we turned up, and this is where we ended up uh, setting the overheads. So you can hear how it has a bit more of the sound of the transformers and of the circuit itself. running the bass through a B15, an old Ampeg that has a really nice warm sound, a lot of low end, and we want to capture that uh, without adding too much color to it. So we used an N22, which is a great close ribbon mic, through the color box in its more transparent setting. We left the EQ flat because it worked. We didn't feel like we needed to add or subtract anything in between the color box and the mic, and the amp, and the sound of uh, the bass. It really had the sound we wanted. The guitar is a 52 Tele with flat wounds, which gives a, a unique and kind of old school tone that isn't always what you think about when you hear a telly. That's being run into a 15 inch cab, which is also a bit larger than a normal guitar cab. Uh, in front of that is an N22 near field ribbon mic, which captures the full top end and low end of the amp very naturally. And we're running that into a color box. Normally we would add a little bit more grit to it, but the sound is so nice that we're not driving it as hard as we normally would. The final mic in our setup is the RD8 stereo mic. It's positioned about 15 feet away from the band. The purpose of that mic is to naturally capture the sound of the band in the room and to give space to the sound of the recording. It's a glue that holds everything together. So there you have it. With very few mics and some great preamps, you really can accomplish a lot. For more info about AEA microphones, go to ribbonmics.com. For more info about the new JHS 500 series, visit jhspedals.com.